good afternoon students this is class for 12th standard biobotany and botany students the first lesson in botany is sexual and sexual reproductions we are going to the topic asexual and sexual reproduction in plants already we know reproductions reproduction two types in plants life the main important two more question what are the types of reproduction in plants one is asexual reproduction another one is sexual reproductions there are two types of reproductions in plants what is the difference between asexual and sexual reproductions gamete fusion related reproduction is sexual reproductions without the gamete fusion that reproduction is called asexual reproductions so asexual reproductions mean not related the fusion of gametes and asexual reproductions different ways in different different organism some lower plants like bacteria algae fungi bryophytes they are different different kinds of asexual reproductions binary fission in bacteria bud formation in yeast unicellular fungi in filamentous like structure spirogyra algae involving into produce number of cutting pieces itself the each piece produce new young one plants that that reproduction also asexual reproduction fragmentation the special complex structure produced in the thallus on the bryophyta plants that complex structure is called gemma cup the inside of the gemma cup produce number of special cells called gemmules they are also involved into the asexual reproductions they are in lower plants but higher plants in plant kingdom that is angiosperm plant and also called flowering plants asexual reproduction in angiosperm plant is differ from other lower plants because the angiosperm plants parts root stem leaves they are vegetative parts flower fruits seeds they are reproductive part of the angiosperm plant reproductive part related, related with the reproduction but vegetative parts like root stem leaf they are involving into the development of plant vegetative growth so that is called reproductive vegetative reproduction any one of the plant involving into the reproduction through the leaf stem or root that is called vegetative reproduction that vegetative reproduction is the one of the asexual type of reproduction in higher plants so asexual reproduction particularly vegetative reproduction in angiosperm plant occur in two way one is natural way another one is artificial way if any one of the plant naturally produce young one plants through the root buds a number of root buds promote the new young plants in the single mother plants so that is called root vegetative reproduction some plants stem contain the number of stem buds each stem bud produce new young ones so that is called stem vegetative reproduction 
may be aerial stem or underground stem some subaerial stem also involved into the asexual vegetative reproduction aerial stem like sugarcane moringa hibiscus and uh, underground stem like potato ginger um, curcumin curcuma langa and uh, subaerial stem like cyanodon tartelan in tamil argambul mentha in tamil pudina um, graysanthimum like samandhi variety they are involving into the uh, stem vegetative reproduction so they are important asexual reproductions in through the stem in plant kingdom in particularly angiosperm plants also in some case leaves also involving into the vegetative reproductions particularly bryophyllum in tamil katti potta putti podu the leaf of the bryophyllum contain the leaf march leaf margin contain the number of niches in the leaf margin each niches contain the leafy bud the bud removed from the mother plant then also grown into a new young one plants a single leaf produce number of leafy buds each bud produce new young plants so nat in natural way root stem leaf they are involving the reproduction in natural way but human being artificially used in this way root stem leaves they are cutting the portion with the root bud stem bud leaf buds uh, utilize for the agricultural purpose or agricultural purpose artificially some techniques also involving in this way so artificial method of asexual reproduction vegetative reproduction two subtypes one is classical types another one is modern types classical type also called conventional type our ancient a long long ago continuously practiced some methods they are conventional method of vegetative reproduction modern method our scientific scientist contribute new technological methods in laboratory those methods also involving into the agriculture and agricultural field so modern techniques vegetative reproduction in artificial way two types one is conventional type another one is modern type modern type removed from our syllabus in this in only in this year now deeply we discussed the topic conventional type of reproduction vegetative reproduction conventional type many types are present but two types very important one is grafting another one is mounting crafted plant in tamil ஓட்டு போடுதல் அப்படின்னு சொல்லுவோம் 
one is underground portion another one is aerial portion the underground port uh, underground part of the plant is called stalk of the plant the stalk attached with the another one part this above part is called shallion the basal part of the crafting stalk the upper portion of the crafting is called shallion two different types of plants fixed with the growing a same plant the technique is called crafting grafting five types used in our life so five types of grafting present one is bud grafting second is approach grafting third is tongue grafting fourth is crown grafting fifth is wedge grafting so now deeply discuss in this topic first type of grafting is bud grafting it is the stalk of the plant that stalk of the plant imagine in the potted plant then a stalk plant particularly one place the bark is removed bark is removed then this portion is called shion another one plant type this shion piece must should must uh, must contain the bud this budded species fixed with the the damaged area then fully tied with the tape selected tape after some days these two different types of plants grow in a single plant it is a one type of grafting second one is approach grafting it is one type of plant plant a this is also another one type of plant plant b two different types of plants come to close then graft with the technique then forming two different types of plants grow in a single plant plant a plant b both are a small portion of the stem removed the plant b also plant a it is the small portion removed the two plants come to close the removal portion of the both plants removal portion of the both plants they are fixing then tightly cello dog apply tape is uh, fully tightly fixed after some days this portion cut this portion cut so this this stock plant this sion plant mix this stock plant contain the this sion plants fix so two different varieties fixed in a method then third type is called tongue grafting it is a sion portion of the plant it is stock portion of the plant stock portion of the plant part is slice like a tongue like structure upper portion of the stock plant remove the tongue like structure then also sion plant the lower portion also shape the tongue shaped tongue shaped so both tongue shaped both tongue shaped portion fixed then forming shallow tape then forming a single plant 
through the technique of grafting. Fourth type is crown grafting. In crown grafting technique, it is a stalk of the plant. The stalk in this technique larger than Sion plants. In a single stalk plant grow with the many Sion plants. So a number of number of pits formed in this area. Then each pits filled with the different Sion plants. It is one. It is one Sion. Another one Sion plants. Another one Sion plants. So number of Sion plants grow in a single stalk plant. Then after some days, each is cutting and putting the another one part and each are separately grown. So in this grafting different ways, so single stalk contain more than one Sion plants. The last grafting technique is wedge shaped grafting. In this way, the stalk plant the forming a wedge forming then Shion plants basal portion the sharply shape then insert in the wedge like structure then cellular depth continuously tight then forming this plant also new grafting plant so five different types of grafting plant prepared by our ancient methods then another one traditional or conventional method is mounting mounting means the plant branches come to the near to soil then bend to the stem touch the soil portion then upper side of the bending portion weight lift lifted the weight after some days the uh, touch the soil portion forming a root then this portion cut and removed then that is growing new M1 plants a single mother plant number of branches bent 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 then forming the number of small plants grow artificially it is one type of mounting this type of mounting called soil mounting another one mounting air mounting a large tree also produce number of mounting plants new plants but the tree branches not come to not bend and they come to the near soil so soil wet soil um, humus and uh, um, cotton cloth or kitan kitan cloth take the materials then the branch of the tree the ring like structure the stem portion bark is removed then apply the wet soil and the humus then kitan cloth also tightly tied after some days after some month or two or three months then root generate from the mother plant in the uh, soil so two or three months after two or three months the portion is cut then the rooted portion grown a separate plant
so it is air mounting the difference between soil mounting and air mounting in soil mounting the aerial stem bent and come to the soil but in air mounting the soil come to the aerial stem portion okay so the asexual reproductions in plant particularly angiosperm plants very important in our life okay next topics follow in next class okay thanks for